Hey guys, what's up? Gizmodo here, coming at you with a Let's Play Pac-Man Championship Edition DX Plus Craziness Alpha Omega General Everything and anything all thrown into one. It's amazing. Um, anyways, so yeah, this is um, this is I think the last iteration of um, Pac-Man. It came out. Um, yeah, let's look at that for some reason. What? Um, came out. For, uh, I think it was like 50th anniversary or something like that. I know they were doing a big deal about that. Um, but it's basically on everything. It's on mobile, it's on console, it's on PC, it's on Steam, it's on, you know, your mother's, um, you know, car display navigation screen. It's everywhere. It's amazing. Um, I don't really know if it's on car navigation screen. I should focus on it. Uh, but, yeah, it's awesome it's a super fun game um basically they got a bunch of maps um within those maps they got a bunch of different game modes i just noticed the melt moves when um when you flip through the levels that's pretty awesome <laughs> anyways um <laughs> so yeah let's let's just start off i'll show you a little bit of, of gameplay on this basically a lot of the game where is championship one there it is um a lot of the game is done with these time trials. They're basically like they give you a, sol a certain amount of time to collect a certain amount of pieces of fruit. Most of the time they're apples. Um, and you collect the apples by clearing out the pellets on one half of the map. Now when you clear out the pellets on one half of the map, you know, there we go, you'll see the fruit appears. And then once you eat that piece of fruit, you can get that. Um, the other side of the map resets, and by resets, I don't just mean the pellets reset, I mean the whole actual piece of the map can change, like the whole layout of the map can change. It's pretty intense, it keeps you on your toes, it's a really cool addition, I don't know if that's brandy new or not, but it's a pretty sweet addition to the game. Um, we're about to complete it, boom, there we go, first one done. Boy, that took me like 30 seconds, pretty fun, there's a lot of those to play, so check those out. Um, we're gonna do a few more of them, but I want to change up a little bit. So yeah, as I was saying, um, there's a lot of new additions. Not only does the map change like that, but there was also, if you noticed, some bombs that you can now activate to do that kind of um, gameplay into it. So basically, the bombs will take all the ghosts that are following you and return them to the uh, the home, the the jail, the pen, the whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it just, you know, collects them all, and gets them out of your way, so you don't end up getting hit. Um, wow, I see these graphics. Um, so yeah, that's super helpful. Um, it is kind of a clutch, and it is kind of like taking away from what the traditional Pac-Man was. You don't get into some corners, but, you know, with these ghosts trailing around and, like, uh, a couple other changes they've made, but, like, it kind of keeps it a little more balanced. As playable or as enjoyable of gameplay if uh, they didn't do that. Uh, wow, I'm really working so hard. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Now I can die. Now I can actually talk to you and make perfect sense. Uh, because I'm about to lose this one. Anyways, I'm so close. This is not fair. I can't believe this bull schnickers right here. I just failed. Uh, the bombs help you out a lot. Um, they interact with the other changes in the game itself. One of the other big changes is game speed. Um, basically, the more ghosts you eat, the faster you go. Every time you use a bomb, or every time you get hit by ghosts, the speed slows back down again. Just kind of like uh, to keep you in check. But sometimes it can get really, really fast, and it's hard to, hard to keep track of what's actually not. Kind of like what's happening to me right now. Um, not that this is at all fast. This is about half of that. At least it's half of the speed you get. I'm pretty sure it shuts you up. But, um, game speed can help, especially in a map like this, where I'm trying to get the fast as quickly as possible. If I can get that game speed increase, it would be easier to collect all the pellets and move the map. In turn, get the delicious apple and fruity goodness that we need oh so bad. I'm gonna lose again. Anyway. 
No, no, I cleared it. Yes, yes, I cleared it. I am awesome. Look at me. Gaze upon my game. Not really, that was actually a pretty easy connection. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Um, um, I talked about the ghost combo, I talked about the bombs. That's pretty much it as far as like the changes to the game go. Uh, you know, like I said, you can put some. You can change the visuals, so you can make it look different ways. You know, if you like that 3D look, you can constantly playing that 3D look. I like the more 2D flat looks, um, so that's generally what I grab the This one I really is really good. So, yeah. uh, after this round, I will show you a round of ghost combo. It's pretty interesting. Basically, all you're trying to do is collect as many ghosts as possible. And then uh, once they're all collected, you uh, keep them. And basically, the more ghosts you want like session, the higher your score is. Combo. But, uh, this map is actually really good in particular for it. It's a lot of ghosts on the board. And it gives you these moments where uh, pretty much all you're doing is eating ghosts. Like, that is the whole point of the board. Part of the board is to eat those ghosts. So this is a really good one for ghost combo. However, I don't have that unlocked yet because I just it's on, on my PC. I can't this on. on my phone. It worked really, really good on the phone. That's uh, that something like uh, highway, maybe highway. Yeah, yeah highway. I can, I can get a high ghost combo here. I should be able to. I mean, my highest so far is 101, so I should be able to get a pretty high combo. Let's see. Let's see if we do. Run around. Two. Ghosts. Basically, at the beginning, you want to get a few ghosts and eat them right away to increase your game speed. So that way, you can collect. Ghosts are more likely to follow you if there's another ghost chasing through you. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of like. Game speed down. Not what I wanted to do. So this map is really cool because it, um, it has a lot of horizontal pathways that allow you to go from one side of the map to the other. I thought that was always like the coolest aspect of action. Which most of the time there was. Hey, right? 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Fifty! Fifty one! Oh, power up! What? Oh, oh, what? What? Sixty! Come on! Come on! We can do it! Oh, I guess. So yeah, guys, that was Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. There's a couple more game modes, but they're pretty much just, like, longer time trials and stuff like that that take, like, 10 minutes to play. Not exactly something that you're going to want to watch. So we'll make this a nice short video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that 
like button, you know, subscribe to all that wonderful YouTube -y type stuff. It helps. I appreciate it, you know. So, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.